Hi Pisces and welcome to your Spiritual Path Tarot Reading. This is for June 2019 and this tarot reading is intended for those of you who are spiritually gifted on a spiritual journey or quest at this time or just awakening to your spiritual gifts and divinity. So Pisces, let's pull a card to see the overall energy for your spiritual path for the month of June. Okay. I want you. Aries energy. So Aries is the ruler of the first house. And what I'm getting with this is Pisces. Uh, the world wants you. The world needs you. Spirit wants you to shine your light, shine your gifts. Okay. You are in demand um, whether you realize it or not. And Aries being the first house, I feel like a new door is opening for you. A new confidence is coming in for you. There's a new side to yourself that's going to be coming through. So that is quite lovely, Pisces. And also with that comes a motivation and a desire and a drive that you've never had before. So let's pull some more cards. Okay, so we have not for you. Very interesting. And we have random kindness. Pisces, listen. Um, I feel like there's an opportunity that's like trying to come in. And you are like, no. No. And um, you're saying no for various reasons. Obviously, this is general reading, but I don't think you should be saying no, even though you are. Um, you have a lot of fear around this, or you don't feel you're ready. Um, it could have to do with confidence, self-esteem, but there's uh, some door, some opportunity opening in a spiritual sense. It could be um, just a new belief. It could be a new spiritual mentor. It could be, uh, you know, different spiritual work that you've never really done before. And you're like, no. <laughs> and Spirit's like, yeah, yeah, I think this is a great idea, Pisces. Let's walk through this door. Let's see where this takes you because you are wanted, you're needed. And then we have random kindness over here on the other side. So, um, I kind of feel for some Pisces, this is like, uh, being, um, you prefer to be anonymous. You prefer to not be in the spotlight. You really like being behind the scenes of things and spirits like, nope, it's time to come to the forefront. It's time to be out there. It's time for the world to know you, to see you, for whatever that means for you personally, Pisces. Um, oh, let's pull some more cards. This is very interesting reading. Nothing like you guys are the last, and n this is quite different than all the others. I'll say that much. Okay, so we have the Gaia Worker, we have your shadow, <laughs> oh Pisces, we have Luna's energy, <laughs> legends and myths, and lastly, period of prosperity, love it! Pisces, I love your reading, okay? Um, it's just, man, everything that came out up here, boom, here it is. So listen, Gaia Worker, 
you are something quite special, okay? This is an individual who protects, you know, Gaia and all who live amongst her kingdom. Every animal, every plant, every insect, every human being has value in your heart, in your soul. There's significance and importance in every single life. Um, you, and it's, it's deeper than that, like, um, you can really connect with animals. You really connect with nature. You can walk through a forest and you you know the story of the forest. You can um, touch different things and you just, you feel the essence, you, the energy, you know, you understand. There's a, just this deep sense of um, unconditional love and nurturing and guidance and protection and providing that comes through you being a Gaia worker you are the Gaia warrior you uh, part of your essence is that of the the Gaia energy the Gaia soul uh, physically you are of Gaia right because you come forth from Gaia really but this uh, it's different than that I'm talking energy wise um, there's a uh, like um and I don't want to call it an entanglement, um, a part of you, of your essence, of your soul that's intertwined with the consciousness of Gaia and it's like a, a contract with Gaia where you have said, yes, I will come forth, Gaia, I will protect you, I will honor you. Some of you could be um, animal activists, um, environmental, like, convert, um, man, I can't say the darn word, uh, conservationist, is that right? Did I say that right? Um, you know, trying to preserve the environment, trying to come up with clean technology, clean living, um, and also the healing of the humans that dwell among Gaia. That, that you're just, you're a very powerful healer and empath. Like, this card, um, the light worker to me is like the multifaceted, very well versed, uh, you know, psychic, medium, healer, just, you know, the whole enchilada. But the Gaia worker is that and then some, okay? Because it's the element of Mother Earth herself projecting through this energy, projecting through you, as well as you and your essence and all you bring through all your previous lifetime like spiritual work separate from this okay so to me the Gaia worker is a very unique type of light worker that um, not any soul could sign up for this job because now we have the shadow and for the Gaia worker we always struggle with the shadow here because you know, the shadow is often perceived as the darkness, the thing that we must overcome. But with this showing up, Pisces, it's a reminder to you that your shadow is just as significant and important to you as your light. Your shadow is the part of you that senses, you know, deception and negativity in others. Your shadow is your fight or flight. Your shadow is the energy and the beast that comes forth from you when you go into protection mode for animal, for planet, for human, for your own children, okay? That's your shadow that comes forth that does that work. And there is a time and place, right, for a shadow. And um, a lot of times, you know, if the shadow is not properly harnessed, it does come out in negative ways like anger, bitterness, control, ego. But if you have a very healthy balance within yourself and discipline within your shadow and um, honor its place in your life and allow it to come forth when it needs to, okay? Just like you can't live in your light 24-7, um, you can't, you know, ignore your shadow self 24-7. It's you are both and um, both aspects of you have purpose for this life and for your spiritual growth and journey and 
you need this. This is part of your strength right here, okay? And that might be coming in with uh, what this poison now for you is about where, you know, um, you... It's almost like you don't want to see the shadow in others, maybe, um, or you're misreading it. There's, man, what is it about that? Because we also have Luna here. Luna, um, when she's full, you only see one side of her, right? There's the dark side of the moon as well. That kind of came through in Aquarius's reading, and now it's really coming strong, um, coming through strong in yours, Pisces, because it sits next to the Geyer worker. And you've got to be 100% in balance, in tune with your shadow in order to properly see the dark side of somebody. Okay, so if we take the moon, the full moon, um, the light is the illumination, right? That's um, where we're comfortable. Uh, it's healing. It's glowing. We accept that. Um but then there's the other side of the moon, the dark side of the moon that we can't see. The Gaia worker can, okay? Right here, you can, but you have to have a willingness to do so and not just see the shadow in another because most people, they don't have a discipline or handle on their shadow. And so it's easy to judge and say, well, I would never, you know, um, you've you got to see it differently than that. Um, feel the gratitude that you see the light and the dark within a person, within a situation, and it's, you don't have that vision for you to judge, flee from it, or, or change it, really. That's part of your gift so that you understand the energies that you're working with for the contract that you're here to complete um, spiritually, but also in accordance with Gaia. You, it's, there's a multi-mission uh, going on here for you, Pisces, and this reading is almost too deep for me as a general, um, because now, you know, we come to Luna, and with this card, Luna's energy very much impacts you, Pisces, and um, if you don't know much about her cycle and what she means when she's in different signs and also the different phases of her and different phases of her in different signs and different houses. <clears throat> really look into that, okay? Because Luna's energy highly impacts you and um, is there's some things you'll have more success at if you do it at different points with the moon cycle than if you just go at it kind of randomly. Um, also, candle spells. You might have a lot of uh, luck with some candle spells and even maybe the rites of passage for that. And, you know, with legends and myths, Pisces, this is saying that um, you need to look into all the teachings, all the legends, all the myths that you can get your hands on. And it's not so much to, like, reshape or grow your current belief system but there's going to be a lot of triggers in all of that as well as a lot of confirmations for you. So moon and legends and myths. I don't know, Pisces. Spirit's saying you will be triggered in ways that you've never been triggered. And um, also help you with this shadow energy. Um, whether this is something you struggle with inside yourself or... Um, you struggle with in other people, okay? Because it's like once you get come into this understanding and, and you allow yourself to open up to this opportunity, this change that Spirit's bringing in, that you're like, no, I won't go. <laughs> it's not for me. And Spirit's like, yes, yes, Pisces, it is. Um, you move, you, you just, you transform, Pisces, okay, and you go into this period of beautiful prosperity where there is a lot of kindness and love and harmony and tenderness in your experiences, okay, and you are in sync with your shadow and you are comfortable and you honor your shadow 
because you've come to a full recognition of what it means for you. And also, um, there's a tolerance that <clears throat> you come into for other people and the shadow energy that exists within them. Because, again, a shadow that is not disciplined and out of control can do a lot of really horrible things. Um, just like somebody who is way too much in the light and never comes back down to earth, they're almost impossible to relate to, right? Um, seriously, the shadow is not a bad thing, not in you, not in others. And when people are destructive and acting crazy and angry, it's because the shadow energy is out of balance, not being honored. There's some um, defect in that. And that's why those behaviors are taking place. And coming into the recognition of that allows you to separate your emotions and takes you away from a place of judgment because you instead see the problem and you also hold the solution. So whereas once you looked at somebody being evil, wrong, bad, negative, etc., you no longer see it that way. You see the distorted shadow and... Um, you see both sides of that person, the light and the dark, and you hold the key. And where you used to pull back and say, not for me, now because you come into this understanding, you are like, all right, here, random kindness. Here is what you need for your distortion. Here is what will help you. Here is what will bring you into your period of prosperity. That's what you're gifting, okay, Pisces, because you're coming into a very deep understanding um, of the significance of your shadow and the shadow in others and what it means when it's distorted, okay? Also, with the shadow, the distortion doesn't have to just be where things are coming out negatively. This could be where um, we're a pushover to forgiving, to giving, etc. Like we really stuff the shadow down and never want to bring it forth. Um, that's also a distortion and that keeps us open and vulnerable and gullible in a sense because again, this is your protector. All right. Th this, this is the energy that senses deception, that knows when something's shady and dirty, you know, but also this is the energy that will entice you to do shady and dirty things if you are not in control of it, all right? And um, Pisces, it's, I don't know, I just feel like um, there's just like some little piece and it's like, okay, aha, I get it. And then boom, you're there. And it, it's just, it's pretty awesome actually. So let's pull some more cards. You also can really help other people uh, master their shadow self and get comfortable with that. All right, so we have the Six of Manifestations, and this goes right in alignment with this card. Yep, Pisces, this is where you are the wise turtle who has been on many travels and journey and you have the solution and you understand and you're like, here you go. Um, and instead of shrieking away, you're now opening yourself up. Yep, look at that. Ten of lessons. You have gone through some heavy, heavy stuff, Pisces. And um, now is your time of reward, of reprieve, a period of prosperity, and it's reiterated right here. And look at Ten of Lessons, it sits right under that shadow energy. So it's truly about overcoming the shadow, harnessing the energy, honoring the energy in yourself, and then helping and teaching others. Ooh, we got the activations totem. Pisces, this is also letting you know that um, some plans that you had about how you wanted to move forward, um, proceed with uh, like your career, your plans. I don't know. There's some element to your spiritual journey here that you had planned a certain way. Activations totem coming in to tell you, hey, Pisces, nope, um, scratch that. 
let's go this way you're gonna like it much much more and that's this where again Pisces where I feel like you shriek away and you pull away and now because you're gonna like things are just gonna click in June you're you're putting yourself out there you're coming into the light you're accepting of the shadow in yourself and in others you're just in a whole different consciousness yeah look at that two of activations this is an elevation an upgrade to your current spiritual gifts and abilities and talents right there boom and look at that sits under legends and myths and didn't I say look into that because it's going to trigger you and activate you and boom there's the confirmation and lastly manifestation spirit guide right under period of prosperity could not be a better spot for that yeah Pisces listen whatever you are shrieking away from here the, your spirit guide is like dragging you okay has been lighting the path has been um, you know shooting up fireworks leading your way and you're like no and now here your spirit guide is like dragging you saying Pisces hear me out this is the way to your happiness stop it behave yourself calm down listen to me listen to me and let's go Pisces trust your spirit guide Trust your um, animal totem here. They know the way, okay? They're like, no, I don't know how you were planning things or what you are really uh, pushing away from. I'm a Pisces. I can tell you, um, I always do a reading for myself before these just because I don't want my own energy to get in them. And, you know, if this was mine, Pisces, I know exactly what this is and People who really know me would know what this would be for me. So listen, you know what it is for you. And if you have any confusion, just ask the three people closest to you. And they'll be like, Pisces, this is what you're afraid of. And this is what you shriek away from. And this is what you need to just finally embrace and accept and grab hold of. And no longer be afraid. Because it's just like that's your path forward, Pisces. Um, and... It's not just like your path forward, like, oh, I got to do this. No, you're done with that hard stuff. This is time for happiness, for fun, for prosperity for you guys. So um, just stop holding back. Don't be afraid, Pisces. Let's pull one more card. Okay tender shoulder. Mm. All right, Pisces, um, some of you, this could be about allowing yourself to really become vulnerable and emotionally exposed to people. This could be, um, it's time to, uh, you know, let bygones be bygones somewhere. Okay. Um, also with tender shoulder, you know, somebody may come in and just How would that even help you, though? Hmm. Pisces, listen. If there's... If part of this has to do with, like, a, a lot of uh, emotion, which could be because Luna's there, a lot of emotion that you've kind of kept bottled up and stuffed down inside, um, when somebody shows up and you feel like you could just pour it out all on them, do it, because that's why Spirit's bringing them into your life at that moment is so that the dam can break and you can cry and get all that energy out all right um if that happens do it now also with that random kindness tender shoulder you may find yourself at the grocery store or just you know at work randomly and all of a sudden somebody's starting to pour their heart and soul out to you the reason why that's happening pisces is again you have the key, you have the solution to what they need, and that's why Spirit has aligned them to you. And if you have to cry your eyes out, you know, Spirit's going to bring the person, and um, they're going to have the solution, the answer that you need to help you, okay? So, Pisces, listen, um, allow the change, whatever this is for you to happen, accept Stop saying no and just go with it because, man, amazing things are going to unfold uh, due to that, okay?
So those are your messages, Pisces. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.